Today we are going to read comments. I was going to save this until tomorrow, but I can't. I have my tissues because I'm going to be crying, but not in the way that you think. Let's get rolling, shall we? First comment. <laughs> okay, so I want to explain first. I've always gotten all kinds of different comments from like religious fanatics. Um, I've gotten threatening ones, um, people making, co you know, comments about my body, about my makeup, you know, criticizing and all that stuff. But then you get, now that I'm getting a wider audience, a little bit of a wider audience, the comments are getting, they're getting video worthy. Now I know. Some of you out there are going to diminish me. You're going to tell me that I'm not truly spiritual, that I'm a bad person. I think you're a fake spiritual person and I'll call you out all the live long day. This is funny. This is funny and I'm not going to let funny go. I'm not going to let funny go. I will not. I am not that person. Okay. This is just too good. All right. This one literally almost had me crying. Okay. All the stuff about letters being light are the things you see on psychedelics. So I started reading this and I immediately thought, because I've heard a lot of people um, have had experiences with DMT, um, you know, and I thought this person was going to share some spiritual awakening that they've had through that avenue, basically. But this person goes on. But once you started talking about the numbers, I can tell you, I can tell that you have never done drugs and don't have the knowledge of how these things are perceived by the mind. You are an idiot who has never done drugs. I, I wish, I wish the camera was rolling when, when I read that for the first time. Cause I literally, if I had something, if I had been drinking something, it would have come out my nose. Like it was the funniest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. This one was a comment on my Scorpio 2020 reading. Now, for those of you out there who know me, get ready to comment down below, okay? I'm gonna read it just as it's written, but you'll get a feel for how, what the person meant, I think. I felt you sarcastic, I felt you're sar you were sarcastic while reading and didn't create any kind of understanding. Scorpions are not that weak as you tried to depict them. You need a long way to study deep and research on zodiac signs before you draw and read cards for people. It was all superficial and somewhat undone throughout the reading. Does anybody want to comment down below what's wrong with this comment? <laughs> what's wrong with someone preaching at me how Scorpios are? Go ahead, I'll give you a minute or five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, yes. I am a Scorpio. I am not just a Scorpio. I am a Stellium Scorpio. This is the funniest thing ever. Like I already, <laughs> I, I don't know why this person is preaching at me about how Scorpios are, but I appreciate it. I do appreciate the laugh. That was really good. It was so good. Okay. Uh, and of course there are nice ones in here too. I think you are adorable. I enjoy your videos and your sense of humor. Thank you. Thank you for getting my sense of humor. I love that. Cause laughter is very important. Oh, that raises your frequency and it brings joy. And why not try to transmute what people are trying to make negative comments? <laughs> There's no way I can't not laugh at this. Like it's so funny, but this one, this one was a nice comment. Um, Again, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to give shout outs to these people if they're comfortable with that, but it says, I think you're adorable. I enjoy your videos and your sense of humor. Thank you for being you and sharing your gift with us. Thank you guys so much. And a lot of you out there, I just wanna make this clear, a lot of you leave comments like that. I would say 98% of you do, and I love you so much. And you know, I just want you to know, I can feel that love and I feel your support and it is everything. It is everything, right? And I even have people who, so on occasion, sometimes people will kind of get in there and you know they'll come to my defense, so to speak, or something like that. But for the most part, my audience, um, they counteract the negativity by leaving positivity, and I love that. <laughs> I really do love that. All right, although you know when someone is clearly practicing setting a boundary, I love that too. Okay, you are just a decorated idiot. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm a little flattered, but also offended. Is it like sweet and salty? Like I, what, what was the purpose of that? Real angles have no lower chakra craving. 
she's got kids and a husband slash boyfriends. A real grown up butt. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I think you're a butt too. Thank you for that. And thanks for thinking I got it all going on. Dang, I've got a husband and boyfriends with an S. With an S, okay? And kids. I'm so glad you came along and told me that I had kids and a husband and all these boyfriends because I was living this existence and I didn't see any of that. So I am so glad you came along to tell me how my life is. Awesome. P.S. I don't have kids. I don't have a husband. I don't have uh, a boyfriend at the time, at this moment, either, uh, let, let alone several. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Someone says, what is Gumroad? Gumroad is like a Vimeo. Okay, so it's a different kind of digital platform. Um, I don't know that it's still technically a startup, but you know, like I met the CEO of Gumroad, you know, so it's still at that size. And I, you know, I would really back them up. I've had very, very few, if any, issues with Gumroad. Me not having any issues, but I'm talking like people not getting it. Um, they were just like minor things where people didn't see on Gumroad where you're supposed to click on an arrow. They were just trying to click on like, I guess the thumbnail or whatever of the course, but it's where my courses are. Sorry, I didn't even make that clear. <laughs> How about I answer the actual question? It's where my courses are. This was so beautiful and so well said. Again, I won't, unless you guys want shout outs, let me know down below. Um, but it says the most beautiful part of you is who you are, who, is who you are. The most beautiful part of you is who you are. You don't try to cater to anyone. I'm a six-year-old woman who doesn't judge others on appearance. True beauty radiates from the heart. Not, I, I just got chills. <laughs> Not the skin you're in or the clothes you wear. I th oh, think I, I had to hit read more. She says, I'll read it. I think you're gorgeous, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks for the good reading. Uh, stay true to you. And of course, I replied to that and was like, bless you. Thank you so much. You're a beautiful soul. Um, so there was that. People keep asking how you can contact me for readings. Because well, it's just one of the comments. Let's just talk about it. Um, the readings are in the description box of uh, every single, I think just about every single video. At a minimum, every single weekly. So you can go in there and look at that. I do them digitally. Um, I'll take this opportunity too. If you have emailed me and I have not gotten back to you, I am so sorry. All of a sudden, I just started getting inundated with email requests. And some of them are, you know, hey, I'm in the Springs. Can you come do a reading in person? Um, as much as I would love to see your beautiful face and to be sitting with you, because it's so much more interesting to do a reading with someone sitting across from you, realistically, uh, guys, I'm, I'm doing 16-hour days at the moment. So just having to drive somewhere and spend that extra time, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I, it's a little tough right now. But... Um, so please, if I didn't get back to you, please forgive me. I'm not trying to ignore you. I just, it, it's, it's gotten a little nutty here. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, this is on the video, waking between 3 and 5 a.m. You are a charlatan taking advantage of people's emotions. How so? What are you talking about? How am I taking advantage of anybody? The people who come to me and pay for like a reading or a course are people who already believe in this stuff. I mean, I get a, the occasional skeptic here and there, but that's rare. Uh, they're already here and they're already on the same page. So what are you talking about? What exactly are you talking about and why are you here? See, that's the big one for me. Why are you here? If you're gonna point the finger, you better look at yourself because <laughs> you're the one going on videos that aren't even up your alley and making comments on them for what? to diminish another human being. Clock it. <laughs> this one's cute. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I want to address this one too. There are tons of comments asking about, you know, because I mentioned in one of the videos, which one was it? I guess the 2020 to 2024 energy video, uh, I mentioned having a spiritual death. People keep commenting and saying, yes, please do a video on that. There's already a video up. All right, so just go to my channel. Um, you could type in spiritual death and it should pop up. If it doesn't, let me know and, and we'll work it out. Talk to your PC. Mine thinks it's a crystal ball. <laughs> That's funny because I was, I was talking about my computer and how I needed to upgrade it. 
What is your star sign, please? People keep asking that as well. People want to know my astrological aspects. So um, I am, I was kind of contemplating if I should even tell you all of it, but um, yeah, yeah, I was born at 419 p.m., November 12th, 1976. So I am a Scorpio, Western astrology, I'm a Scorpio sun, Taurus rising, Cancer moon. So yeah, I'm super sensitive. So yeah, I might seem sassy on the surface, but I'm very sensitive. I also like pretty things. <laughs> I like to be, I like some level of practicality. Um, I have Venus and Sagittarius. I don't, I don't know what that means exactly, but there you go. All right. So I want to address this too. So I did a, a review video because I had a bad experience with Noom a while back, like a couple, what, like a couple years ago now. And uh, the reason why I made that video, I didn't expect anybody to see it at all because I had, I think I had posted on Facebook and said, hey, I'm loving this. And I was afraid people were going to sign up and start having a bad experience as well. So I did the, the review video. It got a lot of views. Uh, Noom was reaching out to me and being like, you know, we want to improve. I was like, yeah, right. Companies don't do that. And then they started showing that they were improving. Okay. So I like to be fair. And I did a follow-up video. I'm going to talk about this in a second. So I did a follow-up video being like, you're not going to believe this, but they actually listened. They listened and they're trying and they're trying to make improvements. Well, immediately all the comments, well, not all, but a lot of the comments, in that case, 98% of the comments underneath that video are all questioning my integrity. Don't. Don't. And coming at me and telling me how YouTube works. Well, if this was a sponsored video, you have to disclose that. Yeah, I know. Why are you telling me that? They didn't sponsor that video. A sponsored video is where they come and hand you a bunch of money and say, say this, say this, say this. They didn't do that. I'm the one who made that video because I was trying to be fair. I was trying, they're wanting to improve and I, I appreciate that. And so I was just trying to give an update and oh my gosh. So today, I think I got rid of it. Because when people, when people are being toxic, I mean, some of them are funny and you got to leave them up because they're funny. But one woman came in and was like, Oh, I don't care what she says. That cracks me up the most when people say she's this, she's that, as if I'm not seeing the comments. I'm right here, honey. I'm right here. But this comment was, I don't care what she says. She was paid off. She was paid off. She was, she was sponsored for this video or something like that. I'm like, I was not paid to make that video. I was not paid to make the video. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to start calling people out on their bad attitudes because what it is, we've got people running amok here and we're, we're in this program. And when I say call out, it's not to like get revenge or to, you know, you know, control them or anything like that. I want to bring awareness. I want to, I've explained this in other videos. I'm kind of a reflector. So I, as hard as it is, because you get a lot of judgment coming at you being a reflector, you know, I wanted to reflect back to this person and give her a little bit of a look at like, Hey, you're just coming in here and jumping to conclusions. You've never met me. You don't know me. Why are you questioning my integrity? What is your problem? My gosh. I really regret ever doing that Noom video ever because like people just, woof, they're all over the place. They just want to jump to conclusions and tear people down. It's disgusting. All right. I had Dell yesterday too. The churros are yummy. I didn't get churros. <gasps> I got to get churros. Oh, I feel like home watching you. I think I feel at home watching you. That's so sweet. Thank you. I'm so glad you would come and be a part of this. Like, I can't believe anybody wants to sit and invest their time like this. I, I appreciate it so much. I really do that we can connect at least in this way, you know? <laughs> I get plenty of messages that say I need a therapist. And my response to, my response to that usually is you first. But let's dissect that. Let's let's unpack that for a minute. If you are the type of person to sit at a keyboard and go hunting down videos that you clearly don't agree with just to make a nasty comment, and you're going to tell me I need mental help, you first. <laughs> I just got a new message and what happened to the 7th and 8th vlog. I, uh, last I checked, they're up. If they're not, let me know. Uh, your videos always confirm things I found myself contemplating intuitively as well as bring new things to my awareness for growth. That's beautiful. I love that. Are you a Leo? It, it, it appears so. You have all the traits. What do you mean? <laughs> like, what, I'm curious about that. That's interesting. And lots of beautiful, beautiful. <gasps> okay, here we go. Here we go. I knew, I was like, where are these? Did I remove all of them? So here's one. I love all the beautiful messages, by the way. That's what I was saying. Foolish are those who follow you. Return to Jesus. <laughs> this is on the 
Angel Daily Message, December 7th, 2019. Foolish are those who follow you. Return to Jesus. Go for Holy Communion. Convert. Repent. Stop all this liars. It's literally what it says. Stop all this liars. Stop this lies. You devil. Go to... I don't know what this is. And convert now. Oh, here you go. Okay, so here's someone... Um, an angel who's getting that coin with four ads popping up during this video, LOL. Okay, listen. When, okay, popping that coin or getting that coin, how'd you put it? Where, where was it? Getting that coin with ads popping up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Uh, this content takes for freaking ever to film, edit, load there's lots of social media stuff that has to go around that so the way that we are able to do that and get any kind of money so that you can have free content is to put ads on our videos i got a little story behind that but, but let me get to it so the new platform is such that when you go over and you hit monetization yeah you can choose where you want the ads but I don't have any control over what kind, as far as I know, I mean, if I do have control of this, let me know. But I don't have any control over what kind of ads pop up, which people have um, brought up to my attention before. And I don't have control over how often they pop up, okay? If there's one in the middle, be respectful to YouTubers and let the ad, if you can, if you have time, you don't have to. But for me, when I watch a YouTube video, um, I know how it works. So, you know, I don't have them every three minutes like some youtubers will do that um i think i have it set up where it could pop up before or after the ad or maybe one in the middle or maybe there's a couple but i don't know how youtube works other than that okay also i'm not making a ton of my ad revenue off of just one video do you know what i mean it's all kind of spread out so in the beginning this is my quick little story so in the beginning when i was doing this people would come for me because i had ads on my video and so I felt ashamed of myself for thinking that I should dare be able to pay my rent and not have to go into debt to be present for other people. I'm just realizing now that I need, this is my livelihood and I need to take care of myself as well. The story that I was giving was that people shamed me into not putting ads on my videos. And so for the longest time, I didn't. And I was struggling to make ends meet um, because certainly, you know, doing personal readings, that doesn't entirely pay the bills, right? And then finally, I was like, well, why am I letting these people bully me into not making a living off of the content that I spent hours creating and making happen? That's not okay. So I started to monetize again and it helped out immensely. It helped out immensely. And it's not, just a side note, like <laughs> it can fluctuate so crazy. Like it's not, that's not something you depend on. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway, rant over. <laughs> this one just says, bah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> bah. That's why we just start doing it, people. Bah. You know. <laughs> what is my life path number? I think it's a one. Um, and I feel like, I, I don't think I got like a technical numerology reading, but, um, someone who knew a little bit about it said, life path one, people tend to be loners and they tend to, um, they kind of, how did they put it? They kind of like move through life and people kind of weave in and out, but they just keep going. Um, here we go. I get these a lot. Human beings can be so egotistical. None of us are angels. We are human beings. Now, I didn't go back and rewatch that video. It's been up for like a year. But um, I don't know. Maybe I misspoke in that video because I don't... What I'm talking about is having... Um, and Hi. Hi, hair. <laughs> having angelic traits. As a matter of fact, when people would come to me and say, I'm an incarnated angel, you know, all this stuff. I'm like, meh. I don't, I don't know about that. If you put a fifth dimensional being in a 3D body, it would like, you know, hot dog in a microwave. I think maybe I've said that before. So I'm not really sure. I have to go back and watch that video because I, I wonder if I did misspeak. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think I would have because I don't even think like that. I have to go back and investigate that. Why people are twisting the narrative like that. Ew. Okay. So ew. These are the kind of comments I get. You ready for this one? You're really turning me on in this video. 
These human girls just don't do it. I can see you're a fellow fallen angel who remained neutral. You don't see anything. You, what? Stop talking. Ew, don't, uh, don't, just don't. Fallen Eve. <laughs> that truck jerk, this was uh, referring to the vlog um, where the guy almost hit me. Okay, now I might, I might, I don't know if I'm gonna have time, but I might take the actual raw footage from that moment because it was so embarrassing. I gotta make commentary because, and I might post that as a separate video because the guy's backing into me, of course, when I'm in the middle of eating. So I have like French fries in my hand and he starts to back into me and I gotta free up one of my hands and instead of like dropping the fries and like trying to hit my horn, it seemed like there was no other choice but to stuff them in my mouth. So I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm hitting the horn and it's clearly not working, but darn if I'm still not just like in there trying to make it happen. Yeah, definitely not the hottie. <laughs> uh, Cause I said, uh, what was it? The day before something happened. Oh, it was the shoes. I had to return my shoes cause I got two left, two lefts. I got two left shoes and I said, there, I'm gonna go get Del Taco. I'm gonna, and there better be a hottie there. I'm gonna eat Del Taco and there better be a hottie. And he was not it. That's correct. Michelle, you should be on Gaia. I love Gaia. That's all I watch besides YouTube. Thanks for that. You know, it's funny. I've had like a love-hate relationship with Gaia. Um, when they were Gaiam, I had some issues with them. And then um, another way that YouTubers can make uh, a living doing what they do is to have affiliate marketing. You guys know I, I have affiliate links and stuff like that. So for the longest time, I was a Gaia affiliate. And people were complaining about my link that it wasn't working. So I went to them and I said, listen, I'm getting some feedback here. And people are saying that this isn't working. And all I got back was it's working fine, period. No, hello, Michelle. No, thank you so much for reaching out. Nothing like that. Thanks for being an affiliate. It, it was just very abrupt. And that left a bad taste in my mouth. And then some other stuff started happening. And it was around... <sighs> I don't, want to, I don't want to talk too much about this because I don't know what was happening behind the scenes, but it seemed like the the direction some of the content was going and then someone came out and there was like drama around that whole thing and that's what made me kind of go, okay, you know what? I'm going to step back from this and work things out. But then they got Greg Braden on and I love Greg Braden. I could like, <laughs> Greg Braden and like Game of Thrones. Those are the two things that I can binge watch all day. Grace and Frankie too. Super good. Actually, I think Grace, was it Grace and Frankie? I think that's how I got on the Del Taco thing. They talked about it all the time on that dang show. I got brainwashed. I think I did. I got brainwashed for the Del Taco. It's really good though. It's like fresh. It's really good. Okay. <laughs> you're killing me. You're so funny. I'm glad you're laughing. I, I wouldn't say I've ever had a secret dream of being a stand-up comedian. That sounds awful, but Laughter is how I have survived and I know how important it is and I know how transformative it can be. So, you know, I, I try to incorporate, but when I started Angel Souls, um, there was such a persona expectation. Do you know what I mean? Like I was just to be pretty and proper and to just sit there and speak softly and just, you know, be angelic. Angels don't have sex. Angels don't swear. Angels certainly don't drink, you know, bullet rye. You know, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? <laughs> like, I never said I was an angel at all. I said I'm, you know, try, I've got some angelic stuff going on, like an angelic telephone line to try to do this thing, whatever we want to call it, okay? But I never said I came to not be human. Excuse me. I love Del Taco. Try the crap. <laughs> You guys gave him food suggestions. I love the food suggestions. I love Del Taco. Try the carnitas and their fries are amazing. They really are. And why? Am I, is this one of those things I don't want to know? I don't know. So glad you're okay. Thank you so much. Did I reply to this? I didn't reply to that. I'm so sorry. I didn't see that. So someone else replied, Del Taco freaking rules. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Gen Xer too, but friends, nah, I was and still am an X-File girl. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that. Um, is it Scully? Is, I never really watched the show, but everyone always told me that I look like her. What's her name? I, I don't know. I, I, that, I used to get Kate Winslet, 
someone told me I look like Joan Cusack one time. Uh, I had one moment, one stinking moment in time. It was just one moment in time. I was younger and thinner, had my makeup done in a certain way, my hair in a certain way, and someone mistook me. Is that how you say that? Someone thought I was Gwen Stefani. Uh, you best be believe it. I'm hanging on to that. It was like a minute in time. The person was probably not wearing their glasses and maybe drunk. But I'm hanging on to it. Okay. Again, it was like 20 years. Stop. Okay, just stop. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm not reading this one. Nope. Okay, we're going to end on this one because this video is going to be for freaking ever. Um... Do you guys remember the story? I forget which video I told them, but I told the story of this woman who very self-righteously said that she's an 1111 person and that like somehow that put her above everybody else. Okay, so this person <laughs> commented, I'm pretty sure the person who nearly hit your car was one of the 1111 people. If my comment didn't make you laugh, nothing will. <laughs> I thought that was amazing, and I did right back. LOL, that's awesome. So if you guys like this kind of video, me just reading comments, uh, comment down below. I will try to see if, again, it might have to be next year, but I'll see if I can't pick out a topic or something that someone's asking for. What I will not be doing, uh, I've been getting this a lot. This happens in surges every once in a while where I'm getting messages, emails, comments where people want... Uh, me to basically give them personal readings. We won't do that. Uh, or if you're just trying to cause problems with your, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I think you get it. But anyway, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.